What's going on guys? This is one of the cooler guitars I've made in a while. I didn't film the whole process, but at least wanted to walk you through it before it gets presented to its new owner. One of my daughter's friends works for a company called Midwest Outdoors. They're an outdoor show, fishing, hunting, etc. And one of their executive producers is retiring. And I was talking with one of the producers and they wanted to do a special retirement gift for him. And we were spitballing some ideas on how to do this. Hey, let's build a painted body and a neck, more or less a wall hanger. And I'm like, I don't do wall hangers. I do real guitars. And I said, how about this? Let's do a whiskey barrel engraved guitar. Let's work on the design together and see what we can come up with. And so this is the guitar. This is the Midwest Outdoor guitar for... Dan Keith, executive producer from 1987 to 2019. The president of the company actually designed most of this. I was going to inlay the logo here and he had a couple ideas in his head. We went back and forth and he placed the turkeys here, the fish here, and then he outstretched the uh, logo to fit. Originally, we didn't know how I would get this in and how I would get it painted. Obviously, I can't burn this in in a custom branding iron because that is ridiculous to make that. Um, but we had a couple different thoughts on how to do this. I asked for a couple of SVG files to import into my inventable CNC. And then we just started playing. I think one of the cooler things is the headstock design with the Midwest Outdoors and then sort of a bullet looking inlay that I carved out, painted, and then sealed. The neck is a maple neck that I used the weathering agent to give it that darker um, gray look. I then put the body together with two barrels, the back and the top with the middle wedged in. I then routed it out. I think these are uh, beam barrels. I can't really tell, but then on the back, we inlaid Dan Keith, executive producer. And then I aged the plates like I do everything else. And then on the top here, we put some black ratio tuners, which I thought looked a lot better than uh, the silver ones. Sort of matches the headstock. As this plays, it'll wear in a little bit more, specifically on the fretboard. So it'll age up nicely, cut the nut, and this is it. Was pretty happy with this because it's a commission, number one. Number two, it's a custom design, which is stuff that I'm doing now, and it's a way cool one-off. So pretty proud of this guitar, really happy with the way it turned out, happy that the CNC machine did it. Um, you know, I think I put it to the max with this project, all the, um, uh, inlays with the special bits, the smaller inlay bits really worked out. And then what I did is I took some testers, black paint and painted the inside, not only just the inside, but then where the lettering is on each of these. I'd say the only thing I was maybe a little bit unhappy with is the turkey head hit a sort of a down spot right here in the wood. You know, the barrels aren't perfectly level. And what I really didn't want to do was sand them and then inlay, you lose all the character of the barrel themselves. But for a quick project, I thought this turned out really cool. It was on a tight deadline to put this out for his retirement party, but we'll post this after his party and maybe he'll watch and comment on it. We put a Ken Armstrong bridge humbucker in, aged it up with some steel wool, and then just a generic Tele pickup here. We can replace that. Um, strap locks, all the good stuff on the standard whiskey barrel guitars, but just customized for him. Holy smokes. <laughs> so this guitar oh is made from Jim Beam barrels, custom made for you. And uh, if you look on the back, it's uh, to uh, commemorate the, the wonderful service that you've provided Midwest Outdoors and the TV show.
So congratulations, my man. Enjoy the guitar. And uh, this was an awesome project. If you guys have an idea that you want to do as a custom one-off, let me know. I'll be using this as a showcase, take some pictures, put this up on my website. This is some of the cool stuff that you can do with a CNC machine. And when you get some really creative people together, not including me, you can get these really awesome, awesome project guitars out there. So. Quick video guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.